Hello. And welcome to the Aron Software Channel. In this video we'll demonstrate how to integrate with an external database. You can use the Aron SMS server to integrate with any external database. You'll be able to send SMS, WhatsApp or email messages by creating a new record in your database. You'll also be able to receive messages directly into your database. You'll need to have an existing SMS or email channel in place. For this video we've just set up an SMPP connection to the ORN test and demonstration gateway. This gateway is available to anyone for testing SMS functionality. Find a link to some more information about this gateway in the description below. To start creating a new database integration channel, open up the Aron SMS Server Manager. Inside the manager, navigate to the channels page by clicking on channels in the configuration part of the left tree view. Click on New Channel to pop up the new channel selection window. This window shows all of the available channel types. Since we're looking to set up a database integration channel we'll scroll down to select Database Integration. Now double-click to open the Database Integration Wizard. On the channel page you can set up the name and the description of this channel. Click on Next to accept the default values. The Connection String page has the settings to connect to your external database. You can select a connection string from a template, or type in a custom connection string. In this case we're connecting to a SQL Server database. Click on Test to test the connection to your database. If your database needs to escape certain characters you can specify them here as well. With the maximum string length you can truncate a message if it would be too large for your external database. The Select From page determines which messages from the external database are sent. You can write a short SQL script, this can be a query or a stored procedure. If you specify a table name the Aron SMS server can help you to build this query. This query looks in the external database for messages of the type, SMS, with the status, send. Click on preview to test the query. Click on next to accept the settings. In the confirm sending page you can specify another SQL script. This script confirms that a message is being sent by the Aron SMS server. Use these placeholders to refer back to the select from query results from the previous page. This query sets the status of the message to, sending, in the external database. Click on test to test this query using a test message in your external database. Click on next to accept these settings. On the map message fields page, you can map message fields to the field in your external database. Start by selecting which message type you want to map to. In this case we'll select SMS. Next scroll through the fields and set the fields you want to map. In our case we just need to map three fields. External ID is going to contain the ID field from your external database. Body will contain the SMS body, and, to address, the recipient phone number. Click on Next if you're done with mapping. On the Receive Message page, you can set up how to receive messages into your external database. If you don't want to receive any messages you can clear this field. To receive messages you'll also need to set up a trigger. We'll set up this trigger later in this video. We'll replace the default suggestion with a query that inserts a new message. Use placeholders to refer to message fields. Click on Next to accept these settings. On the Status Updates page, you can specify scripts to update the message status in your database. You can specify what should happen if a message is sent or delivered, or it fails to send or deliver. All of these are optional, and if you're not interested in status updates, you can ignore this page. In our case, we'll just specify a query to update the message status to sent. You can use placeholders to refer to fields of the original message. Click on Next to accept these settings. The last page has general settings that control the behavior of the channel. The poll interval controls how often the external database is checked for outgoing messages. The connection options specify how the connection to the external database is maintained. With on new record, you can specify how a new message in your external database should be handled. If you select, send it's going to create an outgoing message. If you select, receive and process, it creates an incoming message that can be processed by triggers. Click on Finish to finish creating this channel. The channel is now created. The status of the channel is green if the channel is online. 
Let's go to the messages view and open up a connection to our external database to test the channel. We can insert a new message into the external database and we'll see it appear in the SMS view. The message is sent out immediately. The next thing to do is to create some triggers. You can choose to skip these steps if you don't need any status updates or incoming messages. Click on Triggers to open the Triggers view. Click on New Trigger to start creating a new trigger. This opens up the Trigger Wizard which shows all available trigger templates. First we'll start with the Database Integration Status Update Trigger. The first page of this wizard shows the trigger ID and description. Click Next to accept the defaults. On the Condition page you'll set up the trigger behavior. The database channel will be the database integration channel we just created. The status represents the status this trigger will act on. In this case, sent. Create a trigger for every status that should be communicated to your external database. Select the message channel that messages are forwarded to from the database integration channel. Click on finish to finish this trigger. Make sure to enable the trigger. Next we'll create the database integration forward trigger. With this trigger we'll be able to receive messages into our external database. The database channel will be the database integration channel we just created. For the message channel select the channels that receives the messages. Click on finish to create this trigger. Make sure to enable the new trigger. Next we'll be able to test the two triggers we just created. First let's switch to our external database again. We'll create a new message to send. The message is sent immediately. Let's inspect the message status in our external database. The new message has the status correctly updated to sent. Now let's see if incoming messages are successfully forwarded to our external database. To test this we can simply create an incoming message on our SMS channel. Right click in the manager and select quick message and SMS. Enter some test data. Make sure to select in to simulate an incoming message. Click on create to create this message. The message is received first and immediately sent to our database integration channel. Let's inspect the message in our external database. We can see that we have one new message with the status received. This concludes our tutorial on how to set up an external database integration channel in the Aron SMS server. Try it for yourself by downloading the trial version from the Aron software website.